Brizzy is a landing page and actually a website builder inside of Brizzy. So you can do editing and you can publish it right from here or you can grab the HTML file and actually use it on your hosting plan. So it just depends what plan you're using on Brizzy. If you guys want to grab the deal, the link is going to be in the description. The link is an affiliate link. It gives me a small commission. It's not going to cost you one cent more. It's just going to help me out grab deals to make these videos for you. Now, this is going to be an overview slash tutorial because in the process, you're going to check how easy it is to build and what you got to do. So I already built a project right here and it's this site and I got my Fabicon. I'm using my subdomain. I connected it so I connected my DNS to it. And I'm going to leave that link in the description just in case you guys want to log in and check out the speed, check how it looks, how it flows, and all that good stuff. Right now, it's like in the basic template. I haven't edited it, but I will be doing it in time. All right. So what we're going to do is create a brand new project. And in this brand new project, we're going to show you what you're going to do to get started. So there's created project two. I'm going to edit it. And let's wait for it to load. And right now we can start building our page. Now we have a couple of options. We can do layout. Layout would be like a full page. Everything is like already done and you can add blocks. No problem with that. But personally, I like using templates. I don't like wasting time trying to figure out what to do. So I like templates. So for example, the one I used on that page, I'm going to show you it's this one. You can preview it here, how it looks. You got the options for these other ones is the about page the portfolio page, contact page, workspace, or whatever, right? I'm going to load this one, the about page. So let's import this layout and I'm going to show you how we can add blocks after this. So let's just say, you know what, we loaded this and I want to add a block to this. You know what? I remember there was something really cool that I needed. I go all the way down here and I would add a brand new block. So in this block, we get, again, we got layouts and blocks. We got all these options right here. So we can do dark mode. Check that out. Light. Dark mode is super popular. You can even see on Brizzy, it's even in dark mode by default. Dark mode is, is going to be like the way to go. So it just depends on what you like. So for example, you know what? I like this block. So I selected it and it added it right here. How cool is that? Now, let's just say you want to move this block or move them around from where, whichever way you want. You head over right here. So in this place is where we reorder blocks. Remember the block we added? Well, it's down here. If we want to reorder it, let's go up here and it's moved. So now it's in the next page. If we want to put it on top, then we, we add it on top. But let's just say, you know what? I kind of want to switch around the styling, but the whole styling, I can do it right here. In this little brush, we got the like overall styling. In this case, it's using overpass, but let's just choose, for example, Samurai. Samurai, see how the, the font changed? And it's going to change the font for everything that has to do with that font right here. So this is a paragraph. You can do it for subtitle, above title, headings, and all that good stuff. You can just change it from here. And I'm going to keep it in overpass because this template looks good with that font. Next thing we can do is add elements. So in elements, we got all these options. We got text, button, icon, image, video, spacer, and a whole bunch of them. If I grab, let's just say, hey, you know what, this counter, right? Let's drag it right here, and it gives me the option to add it here. Now, if I want to edit it, I click on any element that I want, not just this one, but any element that we see. In this case, I clicked on this text element. I can write. I can change color. I can do centered, move to the left, bold, italic, convert it to a link, or more options. Now, this is where the fun starts, and this is what I like about Brizzy, is that it gives you more advanced options. Now, let's just say you want to change the gap on the top, gap on the bottom. Now, this is helpful when you want to make it like, you know, right now, for example, it's not full page, but you want to like space it a little bit here, space a little bit down there. So it just takes the whole page. So you play around with that. HTML tag. If you want more settings, we click here. So it goes a little bit more in depth. In depth, you got the styling. So you got padding also right there. You got margin. See that? We can move around. Also left. Let's just say you want to move it left or right. We got more options over here in advance. So you can tick this on if you want to remove it for uh, the, the desktop, but it will show on mobile. Then you got the Z index, you got CSS ID, CSS class. If you want to go more in depth, if you've got more knowledge about this, you can use that. Entrance animation, 
Yeah, you can it fade in. You can bounce it. See how bounce looks. Flash, it's flashing. Duration of that animation. See now it's slower. So you can change the duration of it. Now it's five seconds. Now it's 0.6 seconds, and that was really quick. You can do a delay. What the delay does is when the page uh, starts, it's gonna it's gonna take three seconds in this case, and it's gonna start the animation. So that's what delay does. So you got all those options. In this case, we got options for the number that we want. You can change the number, you can change the color, you can change the text right here, all that good stuff. Now, let's just say you want to plug in an integration. Let's just say hey, you're using Zapier, you're using MailChimp. All right, so what you got to do is head over to Elements and grab one of these form. All right, let's add the form. Let's add it right here. Now, these are all just for testing. I know this doesn't look really good, so be aware. All right, so how are we going to add the integration? Let's click on this button, and you're going to see this little, like, plug outlet right there. We're going to click on it, and that's the apps. So here in apps, you can see the apps are, are available. You got MailChimp, SendyBlue, Mail Campaign Monitor, ConvertKit. So what this does is you can create a landing page or a website with this uh, app integrated. So it actually sends the contact to your uh, email marketing system. So you get re get response, ego, drip. With Zapier, that's what I like to use, and I just send it anywhere I want because sometimes I don't have available, like what I'm using right now for email marketing, it's not available. So I use Zapier in this case. So what this does, it requires a webhook URL from Zapier. So I go create it in Zapier, and I put it in here, and it's ready to go. That's how easy this is. So that's how you use the integrations. Now, let's just say about more elements. You know what? This is right here, and I want to switch it around a little bit. If I hover over it, I can stretch it. I can move it this way. I can do it this way, make it smaller, bigger. I can edit this also. I can move it around if I want to do it on top. Now it's there. I can use my command key. So I'll do con command C in this case, and I'll do like undo. You can do redo. Now, where do you see all the steps you can do with your keyboard? They are right here. They are shortcuts. So on shortcuts, this is what you can do. Copy, paste, paste style, duplicate, delete, horizontal align, vertical align, undo, redo, publish, correspond. You can do all that with the short keys. Now, what I'm trying to do is show you, like, get an overview sense of what you can do with Breezy and what you can accomplish with it. Once you like what you're doing, next step I recommend is you head on over to this little gear setting right here. And what we're going to do is set our information. Now, if you have more pages, so for example, you got home, about, contact, you create a menu right here. So you create a brand new menu and that's where you do it. Now, site settings. Obviously, you, you set your title. You set your site description. All this is for SEO purposes. You set your favicon, the image. So for example, in this page I already created, in this top, on the top right here, we got the favicon already. So it's personalized. It doesn't look like it's from Brizzy. It looks from, man, it's mine, right? Next we got social sharing. What is social sharing? So let's just say someone grabbed this link right here. All right, they grabbed my site, and I go share it on Facebook. The default image can be set right here, and the default uh, message and description can also be set. So that's what's cool about that right there. If you want to go even further with customization, there's custom CSS available. Code injection, if you want to inject some code right here. Let's just say, for example, you got an, a chatbot or you got a social proof plugin. You just put the HTML code and it's ready to go. Or you can just, just use, use for this for custom settings. All right. Once that is done, I'm going to head out right now. Let's go back to dashboard. Go there. And for example, let's say, okay, I'm ready. I like it. I want to publish it. I can either do it inside over there or I can do it right here. If I click on these little three dots, we got the, we can get the leads right here. If you have connected right there, you get analytics. Analytics right now is not available, but they say it will be coming soon. So let's see that. Next thing we got is the publish. So in publish, you got these options. You can use your custom domain like I've done right here. And like I said, the link will be in the description just in case you guys want to check it out. You want to check out speed or whatever. You can do it with that domain right there. So in custom domain, I can add my own domain like uh, sasmasterwebsites.com uh, and that would be the domain. Or I can do subdomain like I've done right here. So I've done my domain is sasm.co, but I created a subdomain called Brizzy for this. So I can do that right there. All I got to do is point this, the C name to the indicated right there. 
So it's pretty easy and straightforward. You just head over to DNS and put and point it to over here. You can use subdomain. Let's just say you don't have a domain. You can use brizzy.site. So what it's going to do is put whatever you like. Let's just say uh, my website, brizzy.site. You use their domain. You get service sync, so self-hosted by you. So let's just say I got my own server, my, my own hosting, sorry. And I want to host it with me and not with Brizzy. I use this. Or I can export HTML and do whatever I want with it. Like just in Excel, I'm sorry, in HTML, you can even modify it even further if you need because, I mean, you got the file to work with. Or you just load it on your site however you want. I mean, if you have a WordPress site, you add an HTML uh, section and you add that and it's working. Boom. All right. So that's what Brizzy is. It's flexible. I like it. Um, I recommend this for any person who wants to build sites quickly, who wants to build sites for themselves and don't have a lot of knowledge on how to build them. Um, if you want to build quick pages <clears throat> and landing pages for your clients. So this is a good option. Now, if you want to go like super custom customizable, it might be hard using CSS. So this might not be the good option for you. So just have that in mind if this will work for you or not. So check out the templates, check out the elements, check out all you can do with it and decide if it's if it's good for you or not. Well guys, this is this is Brizzy. The link will be in the description if you guys want to buy it. Like I said, it helps me out to make these videos for you. Um, this is not a review video. It was an overview video and tutorial on how to show you how to get around in Brizzy. I hope you guys like these type of videos. If you like them, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and comment anything that you want or need to know and check it out. Well, my name is George. This is SaaS Master and I'll see you guys later.